For those of you who don't know and didn't get a chance to watch our first segment that we're doing, Jennifer is an interior designer and entrepreneur, and Jennifer is doing a takeover on our Costco Facebook page all day today. So we did our first segment, which was fabulous, at 10 a.m., and we're on our second segment at 11 a.m. The great thing is also for all those Facebook fans who commented on our Facebook post, you have a chance to win, and we're going to be announcing the winners at, at, at the end of each segment. So that's going to be great too. You're in my very most intimate space <laughs> today. I took you into my master bedroom and now we're in the guest bedroom. So this could be your a guest bedroom if you have it. It could be a kid's bedroom. It could be your own bedroom. We're going to show you how to make a bed like a hotel in a split second. It's so easy. I picked this room just because clean beds are easier to use. And I'm going to bring Brie back, one of our designers, because she's going to help me. That way you don't have to um, waste your time through making a bed. Actually, you know what, Brie? I'm going to switch sides with you. Because okay. I'm going to show you actually how to do a cheated hospital corner. And this will make it easier for you to see. You've probably heard the term European bed making or California style. And all that means is a duvet cover and a fitted sheet and no flat sheet. So you could save the money if you just buy a fitted sheet or if you buy a sheet set, you can give that flat sheet away. It, it, but the one thing is you have to make sure you wash the duvet cover every single week because that acts like your top sheet, but it's simple. So that's what European style is. All right, we're gonna make the bed in a traditional American hotel way. All right, so we're gonna strip it down here. Let's grab the pillows off too, just toss these aside. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek. This is our fitted sheet, but here's another one of the mattresses we're giving away today. It's our new Eternal mattress. It's so cozy. And that's the queen size. You get a brand new one, not this one. All right, so we're going to keep the fitted sheet on because you want to start with a really stable foundation. Oh, by the way, when you're buying a mattress and you see those metal frames that you can put your mattress on, they're like 50 bucks. Make sure it's a really stable frame because that motion will disrupt your sleep. So if you have a complete platform or a bed, uh, make sure that this is sturdy as well. And then your box spring actually does matter. You want something pretty stable. Then you come up to your mattress of your choice. Most people prefer firm mattresses, but just with a little bit of softness. Fitted sheet, mattress protector underneath. The fitted sheet is the best, and then a fitted sheet. Okay, so now we're gonna layer it. When you add the top sheet, you always want to put, no matter what brand you use, these are our eternal sheets that we sell, actually on Costco.com has these for sale, but whatever your brand is, whatever kind of sheet you're using, it doesn't matter. The hem side, the pretty detail when you're making it, should go flat down against the fitted sheet. So just pull this straight to the top. If you have a helper, it makes it really <laughs> nice, but you don't need one. You can just make this really quickly. Jody, do you make your bed every day? Yes, actually we do. My no husband's very way. good at making his bed. Really? Yes. That's impressive. So I'm going to cheat a little hospital corner here. What you can do, you can just stuff this right in because no one sees the end, <laughs> but you could tuck the bottom in, and I'm going to do this quick, and it's going to be kind of sloppy. But you take this side out, just like this, draw a little angle, and then drop that down and tuck it. And look how neat and tidy that looks. So that's just a cheated, easy hospital corner. So at the top of this, actually, let's grab a blanket. So a blanket is an optional layer. You can have it or you don't have to have it. The nice thing about a blanket is it adds texture and it adds flexibility to your sleeping experience. Oh. <laughs> and can I ask you a question too, Jennifer? Yeah. So how far like, do you put the sheet up actually up to the bed since you're going to be folding it over? So I like to take it all the way to the top okay. without a lot of excess. Mm -hmm. And then with the blanket, because it's such a good question, you don't take this all the way to the top because when you fold, it's going to look messy. So let's take it all the way just to the base of the hem, so about four inches below. Okay. And then we flip both of them together like that and just straighten it and then pretend you're this is all tucked and nice and tidy. So just you have a clean line like that and a little bit of texture. And then you take your duvet cover, which we have on the floor. So if you have the ability to have a bench or something clean when you're dropping your duvet cover off, that's the best, but if your floor's clean, that's fine too. So to make it look like a hotel, don't take this bed and put it all the way up here. That just ends up looking ordinary and not like it's a well-made bed. So again, let's tuck it one more time and then Drop it one time and one time over, just like that. And then you have just a nice puffy look. The other thing that's nice about this, I recently learned, if you have allergies, 
and you take your bed covering to the foot of the bed, it actually, the air comes in and it kills the dust mites, which is interesting. So that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then sleeping pillows really depends on your preference for sleeping. Keep it practical, keep it simple. So put as many as you're sleeping just on the back of the bed before you do anything decorative. So you can have them upright like this, or you can even have them flat. That's personal preference. And I sleep with four pillows, so or two, <laughs> and my husband <laughs> sleeps with two. And so we layer them just right on top of each other. And then for a decorative element, this is just an all-white bed like a hotel. So they have two quilted shams, and they don't have to be perfect, because you see beds are just like perfectly straight, but I think it's fun to angle it a little bit, almost toward the door or where you're gonna be viewing it, and layer them just like that. So if you want to add a little bit of interest, then you can just take accent pillows. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just toss them on like that. Two or three, like if you have a king bed, three is nice. If you have a queen bed, two. Or you can even just have one. And when you're drawing inspiration for this accent pillow, draw it from like if you have draperies that have a pattern in them, that's a great color source to draw from. Um, that's actually one of our fabrics <laughs> that, that we designed, <laughs> so it's fun. So I like having it up at the window. Um, and then when you're putting your room together, you do not need to spend a lot of money. I'll tell you, this bed didn't cost hardly anything. And the reason I like it, it was neutral. And then I found at literally a discount store, these lamps with a linen, linen lampshade, and then the area rug, which I think I spent under a hundred bucks. We didn't have to spend a lot, but it's on purpose and it's neutral. And I used that color to ribbon it as an accent with the white and the gray, just to add a little bit more texture and make it interesting. Because you can mix and match neutrals really well. People, I, I, I get asked a lot, should I, can I mix and match whites? Not really. <laughs> That's what I say. Not you can do it, but it's better if you mix and match a white with like an oyster color or a really deep ivory as opposed to just an off shade because then it can end up looking like you tried to match it and missed. <laughs> uh, at the nightstands, I'll show you again, less is more, simplicity. If you can not, if you haven't been able to tell already, I'm a big fan of ferns. <laughs> I like them at the nightstand because they clean the air and they purify it and they really actually help with allergies. Multiple light sources in a bedroom it's really helpful. So for example, the lamp for reading and for ambiance and a plant just for freshening. And then I little like a two one object is fine or a picture frame, but just you don't need a lot going on. Um, the mirrors you'll see here, this is a small space. So I wanted to make it appear bigger. And I actually had these left over, truth be told, from another area in the house that I didn't need them. And this is a good spot for them. So guest bedrooms can always be kind of catch-alls. And it's fun to take a nightstand and really be creative and layer found objects above them, whether it be a mirror for some sparkle or old artwork that you have or even photos of kids or any other fun thing like that. This sunburst here, I think that was less than 20 bucks. I found it online somewhere. It's a little bit higher than I would typically hang it. You could say it helps expand the ceiling height, but actually in reality, I had a taller headboard here right recently and I haven't gotten around to rehanging it. So that's why it's a little bit taller. But uh, Jody, I'm curious, do you make your bed every day? Yes, yes. You do? Yes, well, my, my husband does. Um, well, we do it together, it's kind of a thing. But I did hear, I read some research study that like you'll be more successful if you make your bed every day. I don't know if you've I heard think that so. Before. Yeah, <laughs> come sit down with us. Right? You can sit down, with us. get comfortable. Um, you know it, what it does? Because I've done a lot of research on this. Mm -hmm. If you have a better sense of self worth, almost, and it's a sense of accomplishment when you make your bed. It doesn't take a long time to do, but it subliminally makes you feel. No, like I agree with you. So we, I told you earlier in our last segment, we got a new puppy. Yeah. And so I feel like the last few days, because we've been having to get up and take the puppy out, I feel like my husband actually hasn't been making the bed, and I haven't either. So <laughs> I do feel like it's a dif different, so I made sure to make it a point uh, yesterday to make the bed. So I think that's and smart. You feel better. Yeah, we have a rule at my house, whoever is out of the bed first um, doesn't have to make the bed. So I'll tell you, the moment my alarm hits, I'm out of <laughs> the bed. And my husband gets stuck with the job <laughs> like every single time. But it is hard with puppies too, especially if you have puppies that 
sleep with you. And I have to say, I used to say before I had dogs, dogs should never be in the bed. Um, and now I, I'm, um, what was it? I'm enlightened. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> impossible to do. So your puppy sleeping in well, the bed. Well, we're, we're actually crate training him. But we do have kind of a thing where after he sleeps all night, then we're actually letting him come up and visit with us. So the slippery slope. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 We started yes. with a crate and a dog bed by the floor, and that didn't last too long. The first time that mm -hmm. he was all over, we've been having to keep him off this bed, in fact, because he's been wanting to join us. So we have a giveaway again. We've got a king sheet set yes, this time. King and we're set. Going, can we announce the winners now? Yes, we sure can. Okay, so we have a king Lux sheet set. So we've got the Lux, and we also have the Eternal that we have on Costco.com. But today we're giving away our Lux, our brand new one. And they're incredibly soft, they're wrinkle resistant, and really easy to okay, care. So here we okay. have the winners. All right, are you ready? <laughs> I'm excited. This is the fun part. Amanda Carlson, you're the proud winner of a King Shitsa. <laughs> Yay! And Mary Larangata, your winner number two. Winner number three, Sandy Paul. Congratulations. And we've got two more. The anticipation is killing me, but I know who, your <laughs> name, who you are. <laughs> Lucinda Keller, your winner number four of a sheet set. And last but not least, Valerie Kashef. Kashevska, I think. Congratulations, um, all girls again. Congratulations, ladies, on your gift. We will be um, coming back live in about an hour. Yeah, again. about noon. We'll be around noon. our next um, section. And we'll be bouncing from area to area in my house. So hopefully, we have a strong stomach as we move from room to room because we're going to talk about how to add area rugs to several different areas in the house, how to measure for them, and how to purchase them, and how to coordinate them without having to spend a lot of money. We'll see you soon. Thank you.